Hi everybody, welcome to Meso BR. This is uh, on Oculus Share at the minute. And if you wanted to know anything about the old Mayans, now's your chance. <laughs> and my chance. Oh, Thousands the Maya world. Years ago, the Maya civilization flourished in the heart of Central America. Their name conjures images of lost temples and mysteriously abandoned cities in the jungle. But today, we are beginning to unravel who the ancient Maya really were and how their culture developed. This is a timeline of the civilization. Follow along as we learn about the history of the Maya. Okay. The earliest inhabitants of Central America are thought to have been hunter-gatherers of the Ice Age. Eventually, agriculture replaced this nomadic way of life, leading to the formation of permanent villages. It's like a Terence McKenna's archaic revival. Of distinctively Maya culture appear around 1800 BC. During this period, known as the Pre-Classic, cities like Tikal, El Mirador, and Copan began to develop. The imposing architecture and evidence of complex trade networks found at these sites marks a dramatic increase in population. As the population grew, their society became more stratified and an elite ruling class emerged. Ooh. The Maya of the classic period were ruled by dynasties of kings and queens. This was the peak of monumental construction and artistic development. Many major cities, such as Palenque, were constructed as the Maya's influence continued to expand. As the population grew, however, warfare began to rage between competing city-states in the southern lowlands. Bitter rivalries formed between cities like Tikal, Kalakmul, and Karakol, resulting in fierce fighting in the region. The final centuries of this period were a time of cultural transition known as the Terminal Classic. More development began in the Yucatan Peninsula, where sites such as Uxmal were constructed. Uxmal. This period marks the decline of the civilization. The urban centers of the southern city-states were abandoned. Oh, While there is no consensus <laughs> as to exactly why this occurred, likely causes include drought, overpopulation, and prolonged warfare. It is a misconception that the Maya simply vanished, as they continued to inhabit the surrounding areas, and many still do to this day. In the Yucatan, development continued, and cities such as Chichen Itza and Mayapan rose to power. Mm. The coastal site of Tulum was constructed, and acted as a major trading hub in the area. Eventually, however, these cities too would fall into decline, shortly before European explorers arrived in the early 16th century. Ooh. No mention of aliens there at all. <laughs> yes. The Palenque uh, our lectures are very good on... Um, on uh, whose, whose podcast is it? It's, uh, it'll come to me in a minute. Let's go to the site tours. It's uh, Lorenzo's. Let's have a little look. The, the psychedelic salon. That's what I'm looking for. Who chub? It's a lovely little. Uh, it's very very simple, but it's it's got me hooked. Let's learn about this place. Okay, we're away. <laughs> oh. Today we'll be exploring a small ceremonial site called Hocho, which is located in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Wow. Archaeologists believe the site was built between 800 and 900 AD, near the end of the Classic period. The name Hocho roughly translates to the place of the corn stalks. Huh. You can access your map to see the full layout of the site. Hold on a wee second, how will we look, myself? As you can see, Can't walk four about. main structures remain partially intact around a central plaza. 
Let's take a moment to look around. Structure two. Structure one. Structure V. <laughs> Beautiful. I really want to walk about. <laughs> it's not happening. So here we go. This is the Mexico and the Yucatan Peninsula. So you know where we are from the other map. Beautiful. Now that you've got your bearings, let's take a closer look at structure two. Oh, we're away. <laughs> Oh, so this would be an all brightly coloured, I take it, back in the day. Painted greens and purples and reds and yellows. This is the best known of the buildings here, and you can probably see why. It has three rooms with an ornate stucco facade. The whole building was made to look like a monster's mouth with fangs opening around the doorway. It has been theorized that doorways like this one may represent sacred caves, like those the ancient Maya would have worshipped as portals to the spirit world. Ah. Yes. Now that we've seen what the palace looks like today, let's take a step back through time and turn back the clock to the year 900. Okay. Caves and stars. That's what our history is built on. <sighs> Whoa! This is the palace as the ancient Maya would have seen it. As you can see, the stone structure is covered in smooth stucco and painted in bright colors. Quite a different look from the ruins of our time. Buildings were painted like this at many other Maya sites as well, and interior rooms were often decorated with colorful murals. We've now reached the end of our tour for today. Thank you for coming along. You can look forward to future updates to further explore the world of the Maya through Mezzo VR. Excellent. Thank you, Mezzo VR. Hope you all learned a lot there. That's very, very good. I really like that. That was, uh, that would be really nice if it was uh, Egypt and uh, you put, uh, Cambodia and all, all sorts of relics we could look at. Okay, about Meso VR controls. Okay, ba -ba 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 -ba. created by Eightfold VR. Uh, music by the Mayan Fire Flute. So thank you very very much for that. That was uh, that was Meso VR. Check it out. It's uh, pretty damn interesting. Pretty damn interesting. Check it. <laughs> Catch you next time, the next full moon. Bye, goodbye.